Hey everyone, welcome back. Doing a quick little update video on the diamond turning lathe for September 2023. Show where we're at. The lathe itself is pretty much the same as it has been. Nothing has changed here at all. We did a realignment of the spindle. So it's now trammed to about 10 micro inches across the, the face, but mechanically it's same old, same old. What we have been doing a little bit of upgrading though on is the controls. So we now have the lathe running off of Linux CNC. Uh, you've got the actual Linux CNC computer back there and then the servo drives and power supply and uh, Mesa card and all that it's just shoved in another spare case we had lying around. Um, the other noteworthy upgrade would be this. If you remember the last hydraulic pump setup we had before, this is uh, an infinitely better upgrade. Um, very grateful to the folks at Professional Instruments again for sending this our way. It's a servo controlled constant pressure hydraulic pump. It's got a radiator on it and a, a little uh, accumulator to help with uh, pressure pulsations. So, now that means the x-axis is running quite nicely and much more smoothly without as many uh, vibrations from the pressure. Still not cut anything with this new system yet. Not cut anything with Linux CNC yet. Um, but we just got it all hooked up and running and now the axes are moving around. I was just playing around with it so we have, have it jogging, you know, we can jog. Uh, out of there. Intense increments easily enough. Um, we can do ten millionths. And the beauty of this is there's no no backlash at all because of the direct drive method. We can even go down to one micro inch jog increments, but you can see with those 10 million steps, there's still kind of a nasty tracking error um, that needs to get worked out. It's just more more servo tuning. You could play with that, you know, forever if you wanted to. But I can set the jog on continuous here and go right off the scale. But here's the feed rate of. 9 thou per minute. It's just beautifully smooth and precise. So, yeah, uh, now that Linux CNC is all hooked up and everything is running, um, we're going to try and get some programs going on this and take some test cuts and hopefully get results better than that baloney back there but yeah thanks for watching